Hello, I'm getting ready to do a, um, a Sea Star hydraulic steering system uh, air bubble bleed off my Parker here. And I just want to show you what, what, I, what kit I bought, and I'll, I'll have a link to this. And these are the tools, this is everything you'll need to do this. I'm supposedly really simple, at least the, the videos are phenomenal. You will need a half inch wrench to open and close your bleeders back there on the engine. Bleeders are, in case anybody's not familiar with them, are all right. There, I'll get a close up of that later. That's right. There, so it has a little black caps on it. Um, the other parts are, of course, you need some hydraulic steering fluid. Most people use Sea Star. It's ridiculously expensive, and there are alternatives. Good luck finding the alternatives. I've been looking hard. There's this is the part numbers. I'm going to show you these. So I'll have a link to this kit. This belt goes on the helm. This is the fill tube. And the idea with most of these fittings here are that it's supposed to be a one-man operation and no leaks. And on the videos they have online, it shows it that way. This is the piece that goes back um, by the um, engine that hooks to the bleeder tubes. And this is the extension piece right here with, with fittings is going to run back all the way to the helm. So, and I do have some rags in case there is a little few drips, but I'm um, supposed to be um, uh, no drips and supposed to be pretty simple. So I'm going to try to do this in maybe three real short videos. Of course, this will be number one. This is all you need to do the job. Like I said, I'll provide a link to Outboard's Specialty Tool Company is the name of the company that I got this from. And what was really nice about dealing with this outboard specialty tool company, when I called there to make the order, I actually got to speak to a human being, a very helpful person. I don't even have been the owner for all I know. But um, stay tuned for number two.